That's all the invoices entered. How's the revised forecast looking? Hang on. I'll let you know in a minute. Well, assuming we tighten up the cash flow and get our invoices paid on time, I'd say with a capital inject, 16 to 18 weeks. So we're clear. <laughs> Looks like. Well, I don't know about you. I've had enough for one day. Oh, I know how you feel. Come on. If you've got nothing else planned, I'll take you out to dinner. All right. Where would you like to go? How about Caspers? Why not? We deserve it. It's been quite a day. It certainly has. On second thoughts. I know somewhere else you might like to go. Will we have to book? No. And, darling, you really must. You want to be absolutely adorable. So you're in banking then, John? Uh, yes, yes, that's right, yes. Locally? <laughs> well, no, we're actually internationally. Uh, a merchant bankers, you know. Oh. Uh, we deal all over the world. If you were... Uh, Want advice at any time? Don't hesitate to call. I'll do that, John. Sir John. Sorry, I didn't Oh, realize. don't apologize. It happens all the time. So, uh, what line are you in, Kenneth? Well, I'm on the board of a few companies, you know. Yeah. Uh, where are you based? In town? Uh, no, just outside, actually. Tarrant. What's Jeremy's wife's name? Sylvia. You met her just every year ago. Jeremy. Sylvia. How are you? Do you know I haven't seen you since Jeremy was appointed to the board? That must be... Well, it's every year ago now, at least. Darling, how beautiful. I never thought you and Pam were such friends. Well, do make it up before Saturday, the Adam's party. You shaved to yourself. Oh. Excuse me for a minute. Ken, lovely to see you. Polly, it's a splendid do. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Jan's in town, I hear. Yes, that's right. She's away on a buying trip. I do so envy her pursuing her career. If you're planning any expansion and need a capable pair of hands, I'm ready, willing and able. Well, I'll bear that in mind, yes. Polly. You're looking as wonderful as ever. Positively shimmering. Thank you, Charles. Ken, oh. good to see you. And you. I trust you're being taken care of. We always take care of your guests, Charles. You know that. Well, if you gentlemen will excuse me. Ah, oh, thank you. Right. Actually, uh, Sir John and I were just saying how impressed we were with the staff. I mean, they really know what the word service means, don't they? Well, let them spoil you and enjoy it, Camp. Oh, we're due to meet soon, I believe, to discuss the marine development. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I'll be phoning Gerald as soon as I've gone over all of the proposals. Good. I'll look forward to that. I was checking this out today. I must say it's an ideal location for a marina. Or for any other development come to that. There are other interested parties, you know. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sure there are. And if you can get your asking price from them, my advice to you would be to sell. I'd never stand in the way of a good business proposition. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, here's Sir John. You should meet him. He's an international banker. Or perhaps you already know him. Hmm. We have met. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go and have a chat. Sir John? I'll steer him away from Stevens. Gerald, keep an eye on him. Not only for the meal, but for the thought. Well, when I saw you unloading the timber this morning, 
I suddenly understood what the fish must have really meant to you. Being the first boat you ever designed. Here's to the second. Congratulations. We've come a long way since you bought into the yard. Yes. No regrets? No, no, not really. Apart from the effect it's had on my family. Not been the easiest of times. Yes, I know. I'm sorry about that. Oh, don't be. Jan's not. Neither am I. I'm finally involved in something I really believe in. I don't think I could ever go back to working for somebody else again. Not after being on my own. No. I don't think that I can ever change. Then don't. Don't ever change, Tom.